Good morning, Rioteers. It has been a while since I did this. Oh, man. It feels good, though. I'm glad to be back. And it's a new year. There's new things going on. We're going to do cool stuff. We're still going to keep playing Bioshock, even though I'm bad at it, because I'm determined to finish it. Oh. Anyway, yesterday in the podcast, I talked a bit about uh, 2014 as the year that we found out. And I wanted to expand on that, because it seemed really important, and it seemed worth talking about. Because we had a lot of sort of news hit the mainstream, I mean, rather than just like the niche internet places that I visit, but where, where people are talking about this on mainstream news networks, people are talking about this on uh, you know, mainstream news sites, ordinary human beings who don't have any traffic with these kinds of subcultures, whether it's social justice subculture or gaming, or they're still talking about it, and that to me is really interesting. I don't think it's the first time. But it is the first time that I really noticed it. And I know, I noted so many of these events in, in the series. Uh, I mean, the first one is, like issue is obviously the, the habitual conditions of police aggression against people with color in the States, but also in other countries. I live in Canada, and it's a thing here, whether we're aware of it or not. Uh, with, I mean, issues like the Mike Brown shooting in Ferguson, um, with the, the chokehold thing in New York... I mean, I, th these are not things that I have personal experience with because I, I'm a six-foot-tall white male. But they are nonetheless undeniably true, given the statistics, given and given these the staggering evidence in these cases, and it sort of jumped into in, into the mainstream. Uh, the other one that springs to mind is Gamergate, which. I talked a little bit about yesterday, and I don't ever intend to talk about a lot because it makes me really angry. But and and the association with with not just with the position of of women in tech and in and in the gaming industry in particular, but also with the security and safety of women online, and how negligible it actually is, and how ill treated women are when. It, it, they actually raise it as an issue when it's a serious issue. Um, male uh, male supremacy in, in in rape culture with with issues like um, you know Jan Gameshi getting fired from the CDC and like I, if you're in the states and you don't know who Jan Gameshi is, that makes perfect sense to me. But in Canada, it was a really big deal, uh, and it was the the sort of classic case of um, people coming forward exposing years of, of varying degrees of, of sexual abuse uh, on his behalf until arguably only now. I mean, they, and it's, it's sort of been a year for that kind of celebrity fuckery. I mean, whether you're looking at incidences from way back coming back to haunt you like Bill Cosby, oh, great, uh, or people I can't like anymore, um... Or specific instances that happened right there during the year, like Ray Rice. I saw a bunch of threads with Ray Rice Halloween costumes, and that scared the, j the crap out of me. Finally, last but certainly not least, but in this country, always last, is thousands of missing and murdered Aboriginal women. I mean, the, the, the fact that these, there are numerous cases that are un, un, unsolved or even uninvestigated... And, and they aggregate into this huge hole. And they're uninvestigated probably because there's systemic problems here in Canada uh, about First Nations people. But also, uh, there, there was somebody posed the question to our Prime Minister, who is a wonderful guy. Uh, that's probably not true. I don't actually know him as a person, but his policies are terrible. Um, and he said, well, that's not really a priority at the time. Well, maybe we should rethink that. But I call it... The year that we found out, because, I mean, there's this sentiment, and we had it during the pre-show for yesterday's podcast, which was, man, a lot of really heavy, dark, scary things happened in 2014, and, you know, what, like, like it was just a, it was a, it was a dark year, but the thing is, it wasn't, because these things happen all the time. These things have been happening for years, sometimes decades, sometimes centuries. 
if we want to look at really deep-rooted systemic issues, 2014 was just the year that we found out about them. We being people who these things don't directly happen to. 2014 was the year where hopefully, when people did report these things, we believed them. Rather than saying, well, that's never happened to me, so obviously it doesn't happen. 2015, well, it's Tuesday. First Tuesday of the year. Don't know what it's going to be like yet, but... Maybe, I, I don't want to go out on a limb and say maybe it's the year we fix some of this stuff, because that seems like a really huge job that I have no idea or position to talk about. But, I mean... Hopefully 2015 is at least the year where we become better listeners. And I'll see you guys on Thursday with some video games. Bye. And yes, I have all of the usual objections to consumerism, the commercialization of an ancient religion, to the westernization of a dead Palestinian press ganged into silent PlayStations and beer.